Hey, welcome to another video, Dave Soul here, and today I want to talk to you about uh, poor performing employees. Now, the, the situation that leaders face is, is obviously we've got these poor performing employees, how on earth do we deal with them? And most leaders go about it, with no disrespect to leaders, uh, they go about it the wrong way. But it's, not, it's because they just don't know what they don't know. So let me put it this way. Very few people will ever lie in bed when the alarm goes off in the morning and go, right, I think I'm going to go to work and I think I'm going to poorly perform. They just don't lie there thinking that way. You know, they don't lie there thinking, today I'm going to really piss my boss off and make his life to hell. It's just not what most people do. Most people get up in the morning and they'll go to work and they'll try and do a good job. But there's something else going on uh, with them in their lives uh, that is prohibiting them to do that. And it may well be within the work itself, and quite often is, but sometimes it can be a family situation as well. So here's the problem. So we, we get this, this, these employees come into work, and the, and the problem that they face is they're already under stress. All right, and that stress is often is, will either be called, uh, caused by people, or they'll be caused by the environment. And the people that's causing the stress, it could be their colleagues, uh, like I said, it could be uh, their, their partners back at home or problems with the kids, uh, uh, or it could be their leader themselves, their boss themselves. Uh, and then, of course, the environment, it could be that they, they turn up to a, a, the, the actual physical environment within work is, is, is not very good, there's lack of light, the, uh, the seats are uncomfortable, uh, the tools are broken, uh, it could be anything like that or it could be just mundane process or broken down systems, whatever that may be, it's causing them stress. And, and as we already know, stress, uh, 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 the stress hormone cortisol uh, inhibits a lot of the bodily functions because it thinks that, the, because the brain thinks the body's uh, survival is under threat, this is what happens. So when they're stressed, of course, we can't think the same. We can't retain information the same. We can't recall information the same. We get clumsy. We get sick. We get all these things. If stress is going on over periods of time, this is what happens to us. So when that happens, of course, we then end up with a situation where we have lower output or lower quality of work. And the problem when we've got lower quality of work, of course, then we start getting branded by our peers as not being very good. So what happens then, of course, is our status within the group drops. Because we're now being deemed from the group as being incapable of doing the job that we've been hired to do. Now, of course, that doesn't help from, uh, from, our, from our own self-worth. So what happens then is, of course, if this again, if this prolo is prolonged, our self-worth drops. We don't believe anymore that we're capable of doing the job. And of course, what happens then, of course, that just adds to our stress. So when we get a situation where we've got this, this, uh, 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 this employee that is just, uh, it, the quality of the work's not there, their output's not there, uh, they're not very happy and uh, we just got this problem with them, then as a leader, the key thing that the leader needs to ask themselves is not uh, how do I get rid of them, uh, but where is the stress that where is the stress coming from that's impacting on this person's ability to perform? When a leader deals with this area here, and if they can identify that, then they break the cycle. And when they break the cycle, guess what happens? Output of work increases. The quality of the work increases. As a result of that, the status within the, within the work group or within their immediate group, their team, increases because they're now viewed as being more competent again. And with that, of course, comes with an increase of self-worth and a belief then again that they can actually do the job. So the key here uh, for any leader 
with a with a with a member of member of the team that is not performing as well as they should be, is not to wrap them over the knuckles and tell them to sort sort it out. Uh, uh, it may not even be to actually give them more training, because remember that when we're stressed, we don't learn that well and we don't retain information. The key here is to break the cycle up here. If we can deal with the stress and take the stress out, then everything else picks up and everything else increases. So, uh, that's, that's me, uh, Dave Sewell. I just wanted to share that little bit of information around poor performing employees and, and just to say that they're not necessarily a write-off. They can, there, there is a path going forward to bring them back and, and get them productive again.